Welcome back to Cedar Creek News Spring Break Edition. Where we always have the scoop, especially if it's ice cream. That's right, Cece, but for now, let's forget about the ice cream and get to the news. First up, we have theater arts. Sarah Bloodworth and Jared Demiville spoke to members of the theater arts department on what they do in class and on some of the upcoming competitions. No husbands at your age. And children, when I was your age, I already, I already had three sons. Now I have 13 sons. Thirteen sons. <laughs> so what's a typical day in theater class slash club look like? Uh, well, <laughs> it's sometimes it's kind of hectic, but it's a lot of fun. And we there's always a lot of little jobs to do that make the big picture. So there's always something going on. So what has your experience being the new theater director been like? It's been great. I love being an Eagle. Um, I've always wanted to be here, so it's been a great first year. Awesome. So um, what projects have you done or challenges that you faced that you kind of overcame? Oh, really not any challenges. It's just been, you know, we did our first musical, so it was great. Legally Blonde was a big hit, uh, so I really enjoyed that. And now doing one act, which is my favorite time of year, we're, gonna, we're really going to do a good job, and the kids are working really hard. So what do you like about one act that makes it your favorite time of year? I just love the, of course, the family aspect whenever we build a show. I love the, the whole process of, of working with the unit set, having to be really creative within the rules, and, and, uh, and just creating artwork that not only our students get to experience, but all kinds of uh, st other schools and other students get to experience it as well. Awesome. So is there anything you want to add about the experience or the people in it? Oh, it's great. The kids are just working really hard. Come see it. It's going to be April 7th. It will be our public performance. And yeah, it's great. Really proud of the kids. My favorite experience in theater would have to be the one-act play process. There's just so much that goes into it. It's fun to see a show and then make that show your own and then put it on stage as a competition you know, show the other schools really what you're made out of. Well, that sure seems entertaining. Next up, we stopped by with a choir, and they spoke about their accomplishments, future plans, and what it takes to be a part of the choir. Uh, it's just something that, you know, I've always loved to do. It's, it's entertaining, and a lot of my friends do it, and it's just something I really like. Um, we traveled to UT. We um, compete against hundreds and hundreds of different people, including instruments and whatever, for the UIL competition we're going to now. And last year I got the Outstanding Performer Award, and that's only given to 200 out of thousands of kids. And that's a great experience for me. A good day is, you know, we sit down and we get our folders, and we listen through our song, and yeah. then we'll, like, work on each, like, individual part, and then, like... Some days, you know, we just, we like to dance to our music, yeah. Anthony especially. Yeah, we, we, we have fun. It's, yeah, we have it's fun It's about some days. building, like I said, <laughs> building relationships. And we focus on the music too. It's yeah. very important for like our UIL competitions and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, our solo and ensemble competition is coming up. And it's a very, very awarding opportunity for us because if we... Um, do well, we get to go to the next level, which is at UT, and you get to meet a whole bunch of new people, and some are college, you know, professors. Cece, you know, I could be in choir. I can sing. I wouldn't live to tell the tale. Last week, we had students from the audio-video production class from Wynn High School in Eagle Pass who came to formally invite us and provide us with information about their upcoming Frontera Film Festival. Video. Video, audio compilation On Monday, March 2nd, students from Wynn High School in Eagle Pass, Texas, paid to visit the CCH audio video production and animation classes to formally invite our students to participate in the Frontera Film Festival. A little bit about Mr. Jesse Fuentes and his students gave us insight on the information we need in order to submit videos to his film festival. They also performed for the audience. <laughs> students from both schools were able to network and share their experiences in video production. Reporting for Cedar Creek News, this is Autumn Turnley. Thank you. It was exciting meeting all of them and hearing about their different categories. Your next segment also has some different categories, right? 
You bet it does. Next up, some upcoming movies, and me and Calix got a few interviews from people who told us some movies that they're looking forward to. On the top right here, hopefully you can see this, is Jason Momoa as Aquaman and Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Uh, still, does that title sound like it's a sci-fi movie? So unless you've been homeless and living underneath a rock for the past month... No way. Hey Rick, check this out! You probably found out that Spider-Man's gonna join the Marvel Cinematic Universe because Marvel and Sony made a deal and now there's gonna be some sweet Spider-Man films by Marvel. <clears throat> anyway, what this deal does is Spider-Man's getting his own movie in, on July 28, 2017, but he's gonna be in a Marvel movie before then. Which means he's probably going to be in Captain America Civil War, which he played a big role in in the comics. Most of us, other than a few pesky nitpickers, are excited for this deal. Next, we're going to ask people what movies they're most excited to see this summer. Or next summer, down the road, whatever. Okay, next, what's yours? Mine? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty excited for Jurassic World. Still waiting for Jaws 19, though. You know what the saddest part about there not being a Jaws 19? What? Everybody in this high school, other than like five people, don't actually understand that reference. I'm pretty much excited for any movie coming out from Marvel this year and in the coming years, but nothing by like Fox or DC for that matter. I have to say that the movie that I'm looking forward to coming out uh, pretty soon is Star Wars. I've loved all the rest of the movies in the series. What movie are you looking forward to, CC? I, I don't know. I, I guess Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but I have yet to see the first one, so let's take a commercial break. I don't understand. How do you know you like the first one? I'm sorry. Coming up next on Cedar Creek News, this week's weather and more school news. Right after this commercial break. We'll be right back. And we're back. Thank you for watching Cedar Creek News. Welcome back. Next up, we have Calix with the spring break weather. That's Calix Moffitt. With the weather. Thanks, Noah. So I have good news. Even though our week started off cold, rainy, depressing, it's going to be a nice spring break. Friday, today, <laughs> high is 72, mostly cloudy, with lows being in the 49 at night. Saturday, it's going to be 72, but it's going to be mostly sunny. Sunday, 71 degrees, partly cloudy, low of 48 at night. Monday, it's going to be 71 again, still partly cloudy. Still no rain chances though, which is good. Tuesday, it's going to be 72 and mostly sunny. So if you have any plans to go, I don't know, to the beach, to an amusement park, have a cookout with your family, friends... If you're doing anything outside, this spring break will be the week to do it. I'm Calix Moffitt, and that's your five-day forecast. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome spring break. It's going to rain. <laughs>
<laughs> I didn't know he was going to do that. <laughs>